Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to give you a guide on how to use Lossa Scaling. This software allows you to upscale using various upscaling techniques and also allows you to add frame generation to your game regardless of rendering API. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your game's options and make sure you have either borderless full screen, otherwise known as windowed full screen, or windowed selected. This will not work with exclusive full screen. So to start off, I'm going to show you how to use upscaling with borderless full screen because the method is different depending on if you're using borderless or windowed. You're going to want to change this to custom if using borderless and then select your upscaling type. For scale factor, this determines what you're upscaling from. So one would be native, which is pointless. 1.8 would be ultra quality plus. 1.3 would be ultra quality. 1.5 would be quality. 1.7 would be balanced. And two would be performance. Now you can use whatever custom value you want, but I'm just giving you the uh, generic ones. Now, resize before scaling, uh, this is something you might want to enable because if you don't, it may just zoom in on the game instead of resizing the window to be the same. So, and then how you upscale after you have all this set up is you either click on scale, then click on the application you want to upscale, or you go to settings and you change your scale hotkey to, to whatever you want, then you click on the game, then click that hotkey. So I'm gonna do the hotkey method. And when I do that, as you can see, it resized it and now AMD FSR1 is activated. If I had a frame rate graph showing right now, it would show that my frame rate is higher. So now I'm going to unscale by clicking unscale. By uh, clicking the hotkey again also might work. And now if you want to use the windowed method, you want to switch the game to windowed. And then you're going to drop your resolution to whatever you want to upscale from. You can also create custom resolutions in certain softwares, like uh, your default uh, driver software or with custom resolution utility so you can have certain resolutions you want to upscale from so slight put this on auto and either aspect ratio or full screen it's subjective and then after that just upscale using the same way and as you can see it is upscaling again so now i want to move on to the frame generation portion of the software first i'm going to switch back to borderless full screen So if you want to use uh, frame interpolation or frame generation without any upscaling, you're going to leave scaling mode to auto and change scaling type to off. And then you're going to want to change this frame generation to LSFG. The next thing you're going to want to do, and this is pretty required, is you're going to want to cap your game to half of your monitor's refresh rate. So if you're on 144 hertz like me, that would be 72. And it's also very important that you're getting a consistent locked FPS because any sort of drop in frame rate uh, will mess up the frame pacing. So the FPS does have to be consistent. So if I'm at if I have this cat to 72 FPS, I have to be hitting that consistently. So you may need to use like some upscaling or lower settings, um, or you can just change your render target. So if you want to use six, uh, 60 FPS, then you would need to change uh, your hertz down to 120. So you can do that by going here and changing it. And again, if that is not an option you have, you can add a custom Hertz through like custom resolution utility, which is a tool. And you can cap your FPS either via in-game driver software or a program like RTSS. So after you get that set up, what you can do is after you have frame generation selected is you can just upscale using the scale button or the scale hotkey, click on the game and then interpolate. Now, I'm not in a match, so I can't actually move around and show you the interpolation, but that actually wouldn't matter because recording software can't actually pick up on uh, on the, the frame generation to begin with. So you guys wouldn't be able to see it anyway, so it doesn't really matter that I'm not in a game. So yeah, that is how you use frame uh, generation. Before the video ends, I guess I do want to briefly touch on the upscaling methods because many of, you, many of you are probably wondering what's the best. And that is going to depend entirely on both preference and also what kind of game you're playing. If you're playing a pixel sprite game, integer scaling or nearest neighbor will probably be the best, maybe XBR as well. If you're playing a 3D game, AMD FSR, LS1 or XBR will be the best. In my personal opinion, I think LS1 for 3D games has the most superior upscaling results. However, the one problem with it is even on zero sharpness, it is a little bit uh, too sharp. So if the game's blurry, that's perfectly fine. But if it's already kind of crisp, then you're going to have over sharpening artifacts, in which case I think AMD FSR will uh, be the superior one to use. 
There also is a sharpness slider, so you can adjust it to your liking. If it's too sharp, lower it. If it's not sharp enough, you can raise it. For this game, I like uh, 7. Now for the last part of the video, I'm just going to give some general uh, tips and advice. So for the frame generation, overlays can interfere with it. So you're going to want to disable all overlays like RTSS, disable that overlay, the Steam overlay, NVIDIA, AMD. I mean, you can enable, enable some overlays as long as you don't notice any issues. But if you do notice bad frame pacing or any sort of issue, then uh, just disable some overlays. The next thing is if you are using... Uh, Frame generation, disable everything under the rendering options as they have not been tested and they could cause issues. The only thing that is known to work with LS frame generation is the draw FPS, so you can leave that on if you want. The next thing to say is that um, some programs like Special K and RTSS, which can limit frame rates, have NVIDIA Reflex support, so you can enable NVIDIA Reflex. At the time of me making this video, RTSS does not have the uh, NVIDIA Reflex option yet, but it is in closed beta and it will be coming eventually. So if you're watching this in the future, you might have access to it. So enabling NVIDIA Reflex in those programs or in game if it's an option will definitely help with latency. And the last tip is I recommend playing with a controller if you do enjoy using a controller because controllers are less responsive input devices than mouse. So any sort of latency penalty will uh, be slightly mitigated by a controller, so you will have a better experience. So with that all said, that uh, is the conclusion of the video. Thank you for watching, and peace out.